What's going on YouTube? Today I've got a fast tutorial for you just to show you how to get clean audio and consistent audio levels for your whole video. Roll the intro. So first things first, you're going to want to import your clip into Premiere Pro and start a new sequence with it. And then once you've done that, you're just going to right click on your clip and say edit clip in Adobe Audition. So from there it's going to launch Adobe Audition and pull your clip up and the first thing you're going to want to do is find your effects rack. If you don't see it you can just hit window up here and scroll down until you see it and make sure it's checked off. So what we want to do first is add an effect. We're going to go to amplitude and compression and do multiband compressor. You're going to go to the presets tab and hit broadcast and then you're simply going to boost your gain about four or five is what i typically do for my videos but you just got to play around with it see what's a good level for you we'll just test it watch the audio levels and we want it to be hitting right around zero for our peak so that is perfect right there you'll put your margin at 0 0.1 and then after you've done all that you can just hit close on that and over on the left side on your effects rack, you're gonna make sure that entire file is selected, and then you're gonna hit apply. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna apply the multiband compressor to the entire track, making your audio levels consistent, and so you don't have low parts and high parts uh, where it's difficult to hear. So once it's finished applying, you're gonna find a section of your video where there is no talking or anything, and anytime you're recording a video, you're going to want to leave it recording for a few seconds before or a few seconds once you finish talking. That way that you have something to pull from that you can get a noise sample. So you're just going to zoom in somewhere where there's no talking, like right here. And that'll be perfect. And you're just going to drag and select that area. The bigger the sample, the better it is for the software to be able to effectively remove the noise. You're going to right click and say capture noise print and then once you've done that you're going to want to hit command or control a to select your entire clip and then you're going to go up to effects and click noise reduction slash restoration and click noise reduction process after that the effect panel will pop up and you can listen to it and hear what it has done you can play with it i typically have my settings the spectral decay rate of 55%, precision factor 22, smoothing 1, and transition 0. Uh, and then my settings up here are 54% and 25%. So you guys can play around with these settings, find what works best for you. These are the ones that I've found to work the best in my situation. Essentially what all these settings do is they simply change how much of the noise they take away and also how quickly it transitions from your voice to muting the background noise. So once you've found the settings that you liked, you're just simply going to hit apply and make sure that your whole clip is still selected before you do that. Then it's going to go ahead and do that to the whole thing and you can see immediately that all these spots, it has dropped to now zero decibels. So all you're going to do after that is hit command S to save and then you're going to go back over to Premiere and it'll automatically switch out your audio with the new audio that you have and you'll be able to play it and see that it's much cleaner and the audio levels are all consistent. So that's gonna do it for today's tutorial guys. Super simple, super fast, but it makes a big difference with your audio. Be sure to hit the thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe so you see more and leave me a comment down below if you guys like seeing editing tutorials and let me know what other things you guys would like to see. Peace.